Hello guys, it's Caleb from Pave Tool. We're excited, we got our new building going up and we have a chance to show you how to install permeable pavement properly. In this application here, it's a courtroom, walls on all sides, building on one side, building on the other side, snow coming off the roofs, obviously gonna store in this area here. So with the, with the pipe work that we're doing, we're able to collect all of that water and put it out into the environment. So as you can see here, with our laser rod, it's easy to adjust our heights. So um, we're gonna have three inches of pitch between here and our low point. So we're right on right over here. Now we're gonna go up the three inches and we're able to check our height down here. So now all of our water is coming from each side it's pitching towards this point, which is gonna be our low point. So water will not bubble up or be up against the building at any time. It'll always go into this pipe, always exit out. So with our pipe work here, we have a perforated SDR 35 pipe, possibly gonna be running forklifts in here, some heavier equipment. So we wanna make sure that we're using heavy walled pipe. Um, with this pipe though, we're gonna keep it up off of the ground so that any silts from this area will not build up inside of our pipe and run and clog our pipe system. So we're gonna keep this up. We're gonna put a little bit of stone. We're also gonna be using a geotextile fabric, which is not shown here, um, but we will be using that as well to help stabilize the soils in this area. So even in this permeable application, if for some reason the top gets clogged or we have any issues, we are gonna put a drain in here and pitch everything to the drain to make sure that we are collecting all that water so we're not causing any issues inside of our building. Obviously in this building here, it's just a flat, it's on the slab, so there's really no basement involved, but in your most applications, you're gonna be in a residential uh, setting with a house and a basement, and obviously we don't wanna get water in that basement. So we are gonna be using a paved tool drain which makes it really easy and simple. Uh, it's adjustable and it's a clean, nice look. So when we're talking hardscapes, a lot of times scarifying the soil comes up in a permeable application. In this application, we have sandy soils that drain very well. We do not have clay soils. So what we did was we compacted it with our CR6, hitting the number seven, making sure we get that compaction. We're not so worried about the water draining down into the ground. We have the pipework in place to collect all that water and go out into the environment. So I think we're gonna be all set without scarifying the soils.